What's up, guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now, we are up here now. I'm trying to head over to this. One of you guys said that this is an observatory. So, I would like to go check that out. And then I think maybe we're going to swing wide over here and hit this town. And then start heading south down this way. We are still trying to get to the torpedo base. But we're just taking a scenic route to get there. I'm also debating about stopping at this place and looking at it as maybe a potential base. Because I would like to have a base. But, on the way over, we found this place. Now, um, I have turned off... Let me show you the settings. We still have the encounter multiplier, encounter multiplier doubled, and the number of characters set to 400. But I have turned hordes back on. But I've turned off the low player count modifier. So we're gonna see if that changes the puppet's behavior. Basically what the low count modifier does is it automatically spawns all of the puppets that should be in an area. So having that turned off means that puppets will spawn just kind of more naturally the way that the game intended for them to be, I guess. But it'll mean that when you activate a horde, it's going to spawn a bunch of puppets. Now I see two of them right over there already. I would very much like to not activate a horde, but I'm also curious to see what happens when you do. I didn't bother cleaning out the inventory yet. I'll do that in just a minute, guys. I just wanted to check this little place while we were here. So this still bugs me. Why? With the basic-ass bicycles. Do they have to be modular? That, it bugs me so much. Nobody? Okay, good. Ooh, spaghetti with meaty balls. Thank you. I like spaghetti with meaty balls. Yeah, we'll take another needle. Also, I did get onto a multiplayer server with one of you last night. That was a lot of fun. We we didn't we did mostly talking and whatnot, but that's kind of what I expected. It's you know just kind of getting to know each other and driving around. We did get a cargo drop and showed me around your base, and it was it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed that, and I would like to definitely get back on there more. And do some actual proper, you know, playing and exploring and whatnot. Um, I did not record it, just because I, I didn't really know what to expect from it. And I figured it probably... For me, it was going to be a lot of just starting out. Which it was. I almost froze to death, because I spawned... Ooh, I spawned up north 
But apparently I didn't spawn up north far enough to warrant giving me a hoodie and gloves and a hat. So it still just spawned me in the snow, but with uh, no gear at all. So I was still just in a t-shirt. Hello? I, I heard you. But yeah, I would definitely like to get onto that server and, and do more. I would really like to do a, a whole series. What the? How did that one miss? You know, a, an actual multiplayer series. What the hell? How am I missing these? What in the... Why, why are these missing? <sighs> How many arrows did I just lose there? <sighs> did we get any over this way? No. Where did my arrows go? Why did they all go flying? And not hitting the puppet? Damn it. Well, that sucks. Well, at least it was prioritizing using these using the ones that I didn't necessarily want. <sighs> That's still just really frustrating though. Anyway, it was cool getting to see the kind of default server settings. You know, I have mine heavily modified. So it was it was cool getting to see how stuff works just on, you know, default. It was very different than, than here. But I liked it. It was fun. So we're definitely going to have to do that again. And if a multiplayer series is something you guys would like to see in the future, let me know. And we'll see if, you know, everybody that gets involved uh, would be okay with that. So, yeah, just let me know what you'd like to see on that. Or if, if that's anything that you would like to see. What? The... Okay. Anyway, I'm going to deal with this inventory real quick. Okay. Now, uh, we did have a friend show up. I was in the inventory, and I just heard breathing. And I thought it was my dog at first. But being paranoid, I decided, eh, let's take a look around real quick. And she was literally just standing next to this bush, watching me do the inventory for the car. Um, speaking of inventory... I did, on the way over here, make another chest, because the last one was pretty much full after the bunker. So I did go ahead and make us another one, and we don't have room for another chest, which is unfortunate. But um, while on the multiplayer server yesterday, I got to see how... You decked out the cars and whatnot. You had them all armored. You had the extra storage racks. You had them camo painted, it looked like. They looked freaking awesome. And you had a nice proper base and everything. Man, I'm jealous. It, it's making me want to actually try to do this a little more properly now. Which is kind of why I'm looking at this place here not so much for building a proper base necessarily because this is still single player but basically commandeering that area there and maybe kind of building within it but you know on single player you don't need a massive base like that unless you just want it but it it made me want to get back into the base building seeing your base so uh we we may start looking into that here because especially since we're running out of room in the car so anyway um yeah let me know if 
if uh, that location there would be suitable for a base to you guys. Again, it wouldn't be a big, massive, let's build an entire thing for ourselves. We, we might build a perimeter wall and maybe build, you know, kind of a smaller house or something in there. But uh, we'll see. Or if there's somewhere else that you guys would like me to build, I am kind of wanting to get back into the base building a little bit. Um, but I don't want to dedicate the rest whoop, the rest of this season just to base building. Oh, crap. I forgot the car battery is dead. Shit. Can you start it in reverse? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you can. Hell yeah. That was lucky. <sighs> yeah, I should have parked it up here, but... Oh well, that's alright. We managed... It would be really nice if there was a Leica here with an alternator. I keep finding, like, the Wolfswagen alternators, but not ever the Leica. Now, I think we need to park up this way so that we can actually get parked on a hill. That might be nice. Rarg. Yeah, come on. I do hope that they fix the puppet collision system there, because I'm so tired of the puppets phasing through the car. It just, it bugs me so much. Actually, I guess, I mean, the, the plan is to go that way, so I guess we should, we could just park this direction, couldn't we? Yeah, in theory we can. That's a downhill. Oh yeah, that's a good downhill. Okay, we'll just do that. Now, I have not yet chosen a long gun for us. We're still just running the pistol and the bow. But we will choose something here soon. I did actually find in the inventory we have a magazine for that SVD. So that would be really cool. One of you asked for an SVD build, um, like in the last season or, or potentially even the season before that. I don't remember, but um, we never got around to it because I, I never could find one or afford one. But we have one now from the drop. And we have the uh, the magazine for it. So, if I can get a hold of some ammo, then that would be lovely. I guess I could have gone up to the trader and got that. Maybe I'll do that off camera, just so we can actually run that. But anyway. Ah, crap. Hey, give me my airbag. Why is it that when it goes into their hand like that, you can't find it just in the surrounding area, or the vicinity? Ooh. Hmm. What is this place here, this building? Oh, this is a storeroom. Ooh, maybe we can find some goodies. Now, I have no idea if this place has, like, a security area. I would think that it would, but you never know. 
Or I never know, anyway. You guys probably know already. What are you? Oh, just metal scrap. Okay. Well, I'm not... Hang on. What did we need for the flamethrower? Do we need scrap for the flamethrower? We do. Okay. Scrap, gasoline. I think we have the hose. Piece of rubber. Okay, that's that's one I need to look out for. Fair enough. Um, the other thing was the battery charger, right? Did we need... Okay, we don't need scrap for the battery charger. So we should have, I think, everything aside from the planks. I'm pretty sure now. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Sure, we'll, we'll pick up the scrap. I should pick up the lead plates, so let's pick up the lead plates. I mean, we have some currently, but... Don't need that. Can I not climb through the window? Hmm, that's unfortunate. Really not much in this storeroom. Sure, we have nails and whatnot, but when you find a box of them, you might as well take them, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we could use some water, actually. This water is safe to drink. Well, that's fantastic. I'm surprised it's not frozen up here, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Free water! Ooh. Hmm. Now, as you can see by my hot bar as well, I, I took the metal sword off. Uh, sure. If we're going to actually try starting a base again, I would like to plant a garden. Hey, there's some wire that I'm pretty sure we don't need anymore. I think we got enough, but... You know. And I don't know how vital the... F uh, fungicide is actually is when doing a garden... But, is there anybody in here? No? Anybody at all? No. Okay, well, fantastic. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for stuff. Hmm, we already have a spare pair of boots in the truck. I really don't need those. Is there even anything searchable in there? I don't think so. There's a bottle of water. We really don't need that. We've got the canteen. We have, I think, some bottles of water in the, tr in the car.
but like the locks in there, that's something that on multiplayer I'm going to have to get used to, actually locking stuff up. In single player, you don't have to worry about that because there's nobody to steal your stuff. On multiplayer, eh, you might need to be a little concerned about that. I'm trying to just kind of get an idea of w the building layout here. That doesn't help even a little bit. Just so that I'm not going around in circles and getting lost and confused like usual. Curious. Okay, I still have the suppressor on this. Let me do something stupid. I'm not going to just fire this. But I do want to see, you know, we'll get into some kind of area where... The hell is that? I, I want to be able to get... It. Ooh, I see a garage over there. Okay, see, we do still have a considerable number of puppets. I got two there. We had another one over there. Let's get back to the the building that we were in over here, maybe. Okay, there you heard the horde. Okay, but see now, like, you respawned inside. That bugs me. Why did you respawn inside? That's what I don't like with horde systems. Is rather than the puppets already being in the world, they just spawn randomly when they hear noise like that. Which means they will spawn in places that you've already cleared. I, I dislike that. Now, we did not just get swarmed there, which is good. But that does spawn in... Here, let's see what happens if I do it again now that the horde is kind of deactivated. There we go, there's another one. But see, it does, it, it just spawns them in. I... I don't like that. Because it sounds like several of them have spawned indoors here. Okay, let's put the suppressor back on this. Come on, I can hear you. Now, technically I never did search this upstairs, did I? Oh, well, you're not even up here. Come on this way. Yeah, there's multiples of them over there. I think they're stuck in this little thing over here. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and reload. We 
get topped up now. Yeah, okay. There you are. More of you. Oh. Huh. Whoop! Get out of there! Out! Damn it! <sighs> Yay! Injuries, getting infected. <sighs> How infected? Is, our immune system is outrunning it, technically. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. There, now it is. It's like there. I, uh... Whatever. Nothing useful. Okay, let me get back in here, reload that magazine real quick. Now, how badly did my stuff get damaged? Not horrendously so, but bad enough that I want to fix it before it gets bad. Anything else? Yes, my camo jacket. Okay. Now, I did not actually check the upstairs. Yeah, I highly doubt there's actually going to be anything other than generic construction materials, but we'll check anyway. Oh, we got us a pickaxe and some cucumber seeds. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Sure, now we should have two full boxes of bolts and two full boxes of nails. That's good enough for the time being. seem to maybe be more attentive with of course it's gonna be a freaking wolf's wagon but yeah they definitely seem to be more attentive with the um hordes turned on but i still don't like how they will just randomly spawn like we cleared this building and then one spawned inside the building that we had just cleared. Just because a horde spawned. I dislike that. Greatly. You know, that's why I would prefer to just have the puppets already spawned in the world. But, you know, still be attracted to sound. I don't know if there's a middle ground right now, because it seems like... It seems like the developers geared everything towards the Horde system. 
And so if you're not running hordes, if you've got hordes turned off, then it greatly affects the puppets, even if you have puppets, you know, set to be more numerous anyway. If that makes sense. I didn't explain that very well at all. God, I really would like to be able to use these SUVs. Let's see, I guess I need to be collecting metal scrap, don't I? I really didn't need that screwdriver, though. We've got oodles and oodles of screwdrivers, because we keep finding them in the, uh, the cargo drops. We'll take that. Because I really want to get into the fishing. I keep saying that, and then never actually doing anything about it. But that's kind of why I would like that... Ooh, those are some nice hiking boots. That spot that I pointed out on the map, it's got a nice lake next to it. So it would be... No, what the... Why? I, I mean, it, uh, sure, for now, whatever. It, it keeps me from being able to eat, but that's okay. Oh, this all one thing. Drat. Hey, are you planks? You're free planks. Hey, now. I will come back to you in just a second. How many planks can we get out of this? Shovel, go away. Three. Okay. Plank. 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 Oh, I don't have room for the planks in my backpack, do I? I do! Hot diggity dang. Hee hee ha ha ho ho. Okay, well... So, I'm going to go dump the planks back in the car. I think we need six of them total. But I'm going to go put them back in the car, and that way we have them for when we try to build a battery charger. Okay. So yeah, we have everything in the inventory aside from the planks. Now, yes, I could just, you know, chop down a tree. And so if we don't find any more planks, actually, I can pretty well guarantee that there's some planks at this house. I can pretty well guarantee it. So, I think we're going to try getting there for sure. God, I really, really, really like the sight on the compound bow. It is so handy. That looks like a warehouse. Might be some goodies in there. Might there be a security cabinet in here? Hello? Hello? Nobody. Okay, then. Ooh, flint and steel. I will take that. And the toolbox. We, we really don't need more bobby pins. I have a full box of bobby pins on me now. So I really don't need more. Ooh, I will take the shotgun ammo. Ah, uh, sure, we'll take the chips. Ah, uh, sure. I'll, I'll always take needles from the standpoint of... Uh, We always need them for sewing kits. Now, we have like three full rolls of duct tape. 
in the car already. So I don't need more at the moment. Yeah, the uh, sorry. On the uh, the multiplayer server last night, uh, you had a boombox in there, and you were actually listening to music and whatnot. It, I didn't realize how much they'd actually put into the radio stations, but that was actually really cool. And the commercials are the best. Uh, sure. So, I'm gonna take that. Could you come back over to the window? Window. That's, that's not the window. You're at the door. Can you come over to the window? Window. <sighs> that is one thing with the compound bow. You, it's more difficult to rapid fire for sure, or it seems like it anyway. Yeah, there's the C one. I don't care. Okay, well, I did not see any kind of security lockers or anything like that in there, so that's unfortunate, but... Oh, well. Hello? Nobody in here. That's... Shocking. I don't remember if we have one of these or not. We don't have room for it at the moment. Not if we're also carrying the boom box anyway. Actually, let's see. I can maybe do a thing. Actually, can I just fit the grill grid in there? No. I can somehow stuff the uh, boom box into my jacket, so that's nice. got us an axe in the airdrop. We, we don't really need another one at the moment. We're, we're good on stuff in the... In the ooh. You're different, though. Oh, you're just a hatchet. Drat. That's nice, though. Got a nice kind of tactical Viking look to it. I like that. I, we'll, we'll keep that. We will keep that. How much? Oh, yeah, you don't take up much room. Yeah, we'll definitely keep that. Actually, you know what? I guess for the time being, screw it. Put it over there. We don't have anything else there. Wait, maybe I won't keep getting smacked around by the puppets. Because I'm still garbage with a bow. Now, I don't know if there's actually anything at all interesting here at the uh, observatory, but, you know, we're here. I wish that you could take these sandbags, though, because you can make sandbag barriers. Also, I want to be able to take these generators, because even once we build the battery charger, I still need a generator. Now that's something else that we could maybe get from the traders. Metal shillelagh. Oh, I'm only three fame points away from actually being able to get guns from the trader anyway. If memory serves. So that's good. If we can actually get up to the, uh, the threshold for that, then maybe we will just go back to the trader after this.
Because the whole reason that I didn't do much of the trader is because I physically couldn't. But if we can, then hell yeah. Now, if memory serves from... I, I think there's some military crates in there. I feel like I've seen military crates in there before. I don't remember if I've actually been here or if I've just seen other people here. If I've been here, it's been a long enough time that I don't remember it well enough. But I'm fairly certain there's military crates in there. So anyway, we're going to head over that away in just a minute and check that place out. I don't really know why I'm searching some of this. I don't need this stuff right now. Actually, those have gotten lower than I thought. Ooh, crap. Protein's gone way, way, way down. Okay. Uh, I guess we probably need to eat something soon, huh? I mean, you don't have... Oh, uh, right, I'm wearing a stupid mask. Get rid of that damn thing. I don't want to eat all of it, though, but we will go ahead and eat some of it. I guess, realistically, I should just let my character get down to being actually hungry and then eat. That's what you guys have said anyway, that it's best to kind of run on fumes constantly to where, you know, rather than trying to keep things topped up, hey, you have good protein. We're taking that then. Really like to find some security lockers. <clears throat> as long as they're not bugged out like the one was in the bunker. But you guys have said that maybe that's just kind of a one off thing, that it was just that one locker. Because I didn't actually check the other ones. I saw that that one was not going to work and said to hell with it, we're turning on God mode. So. It may have just been that one. And you guys also said that just doing a server reset would fix it. So log out and log back in. I just hate doing that if, if I don't have to. Now in single player it's not nearly as big a deal. Because you don't have to actually go back into a server list and find the server... You know, enter a password if it's password protected, etc., etc. So there was nothing in here. That's disappointing. Is there maybe something up there? I hope so, because otherwise I feel like the last ten minutes of this video have probably just been a boring waste. Unless you guys just really li like listening to me ramble. There's not a damn thing up here. Well, no, I take that back. There's a little bit of wire. Fantastic. That's definitely what I was searching for. I would like to be able to jump across to that. I don't know if I can. I don't want to risk it, though, and end up having my character just decide to vault over the railing and drop down there and break his ankles. So that's what would happen, knowing me. Anyway, let's get out here, go check that, the actual observatory. I don't know, can you actually get, you know, like, climb up the, the radar dish? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Now, 
I already searched it. No, this is a different one. Thermometer? I've never seen thermometer before. I'm sorry, I hear grumbling. Ooh, hey, more thread. Fantastic. I guess I should have probably gone back to the car. You know, actually, I will take the garlic seeds, because with garlic, we could essentially grow our own antibiotics. Now, I also kind of wish that you could, like, dismantle these pallets and get planks out of them. That would be kind of cool. Uh, there's a decent screwdriver, I suppose. <sighs> metal scrap. We shall take the metal scrap. I don't know why I'm taking everything. I don't need to. It's more deal of we have room in the car right now, and we're looking at setting up a base. So, I actually can. <sighs> I don't know why I'm bothering to check this. It does have a battery. That's handy. Battery doesn't have much juice in it, but I'm wondering, can I can can I use several of the you know finding several of these batteries, put them together as far as you know use several of these low batteries to charge one of the batteries. And get enough charge to where it would actually start the car. That's that's my assumption or idea. Oh, crap. We don't have any more inventory space. Well, damn it. Okay, I guess I'm headed back to the car. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hmm. I know I've never been into this building before now, looking at this. At least not this part of it. Okay, that goes back to outside. Uh, there's not really any reason to search these. You know what? I don't know if we have glue. I don't know that we need glue for anything, but... If we do, now we have some. Oh. military crates in here? I'm I'm fairly certain I remember military crates like up there. But I could be wrong. Also, yeah, I'm, I was thinking there... Is there a room here that has security lockers? I, I was thinking there was, but maybe not. Guess we'll find out.
Uh, the tequila ought to sell reasonably well. None of the stuff like the alcoholic drinks and whatnot sells real well. But, I mean, you might get, you know, a couple hundred bucks for it or something. Ooh, Bushman, I will take that. Anybody at all in here? Anybody? Ooh, a backpack. I like backpacks. They, they work well for organizing things. That was one thing I was extremely jealous of on the multiplayer server, seeing your base. Holy crap, you've got things organized. I mean, what I did with my base, you know, in the last season was nothing. It was a drop in the bucket compared to what you did. Holy freaking crap. That just tells me that I need to really up my base building game. <laughs> Which, here's the thing. One reason why I don't get super heavy into the base building right now is... The fact that, you know, the devs, when they update stuff, a lot of times you get a server wipe. And I don't, I don't want to put all that work into building this big elaborate base. Security lockers! Just to then have it all get wiped. Since the devs are talking about, you know, they're adding um, NPCs and quests and, you know... The latest dev update said that they were talking about modifying the points of interest and stuff like that. That tells me that whenever they do the next update, it's probably going to wipe the server. In fact, it, it's absolutely... Ooh, hello. It's absolutely going to wipe the server when they actually do the 1.0 update. Now, when they're actually going to do 1.0, who knows? But, the point is, they're still talking about bringing more vehicles back in. It's supp They're supposed to bring all of the vehicles back in, according, from what they've said. Um, but just from bringing the boats back in, we got a server wipe. You know, so I feel like if they're going to actually add anything significant back into the game... You're probably going to get a server wipe, which is why I don't, I don't want to do a big elaborate base just to have all of that undone with the next update or hot fix. Ah, damn it. Stupid gloves. And again, in single player, a big elaborate base isn't really necessary. It's just something that if you want to do it, you can. Well, I will take a 1911 magazine, because we don't actually have any 1911 magazines. And I would not be opposed to running a 1911. I just don't like the 1911 from the standpoint of the capacity is not very good. But, you know, I like the revolvers, so I really can't say anything about capacity. Oh, is this where we came up? Okay. But yeah, so I would not be opposed to running a 1911. Or at least trying it, you know. Uh, 
Yeah, I know you're chilly. Let's put the gloves back on. There you go. Better? Maybe? I'm not seeing any kind of military stuff. That's horribly unfortunate. Huh. Well, drat. We really don't need more crowbars. Although one of you also mentioned that I could get into the hazmat locker back in that bunker with a crowbar rather than trying to pick the lock. Now, I don't know how difficult those are to get into with the crowbar. I will, s I will say the puppets do definitely seem to be more attentive with hordes turned on. Or may I don't know if that has anything to do with the encounter modifier. Or if it's strictly tied to the horde system or what. But they do definitely seem to be more attentive since turning, or since switching those settings up. So let me know which version you guys prefer. Hey, there is some military stuff. Fantastic. Let me know which one you guys prefer. You know, if you like the encounter modifier being on to where there's just more puppets already spawned. Or if you want the hordes left on. It does, to some degree, seem like they fixed the horde spawning, sort of. I know a lot of people are still having issues with the horde spawning. But it does seem like it's maybe better than it was. I don't know. But let me know what you guys would like to see on that. If you'd rather I keep the hordes on or um, turn them off but turn the low player count modifier back on. Now, I really hope that when they add quests and stuff in that this place serves a purpose. Because right now, it really doesn't. It's just a place to come up here and loot. And thus far, there's not even really any loot that's good enough to make it worth coming up here. You know, the best loot that I found up here was a 1911 magazine. Not even an, an actual 1911, just the magazine. So... I don't know. The... This place doesn't really seem like it's worth looting at the moment. And I came back over to the wrong side, didn't I? Yes. Damn it. I'm trapped. Help. No, here we go. Okay. Well, I don't know how much more there is to this... Oh, well, hell, we still got way over there. Okay. Ah, uh, but we don't have room in the car again. Now, that looks like there should be a hill over there, so maybe we just take the car over to there, yeah? Which way is the car? I think the car's back that way. 
However, we have not searched this building yet, so let me check this one real quick, and then we'll go get the car. Well, go through the door. Thank you. Stop running. You don't need to sprint everywhere. Ooh, bullets. We can do that just to clear up a little bit of inventory space. There we go, beautiful. Stand up. Why did you squat? Yeah, I hear you grumbling out there. Ooh, we'll take that. Now, as you can see, we also still have it set to where puppets cannot go through windows and doors. Um, if you would like me to change that as a trial run, we can. I just don't really want to do that with the number of puppets that we have on the server. <laughs> You know, being able to get into a building has been the only thing that has saved me on a few occasions. How I wish that worked is that, like, for coming in through the windows, right now the puppets can literally just, like, jump through the windows, like, faster than your character can. They, they literally can just, like, sprint, vault instantly through the window. From what I've seen, anyway. There really was not much in here, either, was there? That's unfortunate, because this looks like it was like a museum or display type thing. But there's nothing in it. That's horribly unfortunate. But I wish that it would take them longer to get through windows and whatnot. Let's see. Where is the car? I think the car is back up that way. Now, if memory serves, you guys said that I could... Oh, crap. Well... We actually have quite a few puppets still still here already, even with hordes, or even with the modifier turned off, or the low player count modifier turned off. But you see, I wonder with stuff like this, how, how much of that is them respawning every time a horde gets activated? So, like, me having the respawn batch multiplier set to zero to where we can actually clear an area. You know, how much of that gets cancelled out by the horde spawning system? That's an issue that I've heard about numerous times, is that, you know, you clear an area, and then a horde gets activated by the one remaining puppet... And then a crap ton of zombies respawn way too close to you. That, that's some of the issues that I've heard with the Horde system. I don't know if those are still valid currently or how bad those are, but anyway. I'm going to deal with this inventory real quick. Okay, let's go see if we can't drive up to that and get to a spot where maybe we can get the car going again.
Oh, I can't get there from here. Well, crap. Oh, crap. Hey, 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 I see a Leica in there. Please have an alternator. Please have an alternator. Oh, is the ground texture bugging out again? It kind of looks like maybe it is. Hi, do you know if that Leica has an alternator down there? Does it? I would really like it if it did. Can it have an alternator, please? Well, I guess I need to be keeping an eye on my fuel as well. Could you just die, please? Get off my car. Stand up so I can run you over. I don't want to get stuck. Did that get you? Okay, I think that got you. I'm gonna go park the car down here. Close to this, because this should be... <sighs> really? Damn you. I just want to see if that Leica has an alternator. Ow, son of a bitch. Bring in all your friends. Damn you. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon. Thank you. I guess I could just park it up here and then walk down to the Leica. Oh, this definitely looks more promising up here. Hell yeah, this looks a lot more promising for interesting loot. Uh, why is the handbrake not working? Anyway. Oh, I forgot. I still have these, uh, night vision goggles. Get rid of those. I don't need those. I definitely don't need those. Okay, I'm gonna go check this Leica down here. I'm really, really, really hoping that it's got an alternator. Please have an alternator. Please. Pretty please. It, it does. I think it does. Does it, does it have an alternator? Oh, I can't actually check it without a freaking jack. Apparently. Does it does it have an alternator? I think so, because that looks like the alternator right there. Yes! 
Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that was worth coming up here just for that. Hell yes. And yes, I did see the cargo drop pop up there. I don't really care about that. I finally got a freaking alternator for the car. Hell yes. And that means that it will charge the battery for us. Hazuzel, where is that cargo drop? Really? I'm thinking we may go hit the cargo drop rather than finish searching this place right now. Because we can always come back here. But cargo drops always have something good in them. This place, mm, maybe, maybe, mm, excuse me, maybe not. So, where, where is that cargo drop? Of course, it's way the hell back over there. That's great. Oh, due west, slightly southwest, so that direction. Okay, I mean, let's see what we can see. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, just maybe. I should put this alternator in, huh? That's a thing that we could do. Instead of being a big old stupid. Yay! Ah, Start. Thank you. Now. Could you go away? But see there, like they're respawning where I've already cleared them. That, that bugs me. And I'm assuming that that's because of the horde system. Now, this may have been a really stupid idea because I don't know if we can actually get through here. Yeah, we can. Fantastic. Look at that. The battery's charging. The battery's charging. Ha 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 ha. Where is this cargo drop coming? Okay. Yeah, so it should be just... Continue straight on this away. Great, it's gonna be up on top of this rocky outcropping. That sucks a whole lot. That makes things a lot more difficult for me trying to get the puppets taken care of. Where is it? Should be just right down there. It hasn't come. There it is, right there. Beautiful. Okay, this this might work out. This is an open enough area up here. If I can get the puppets up here uh, and not get stuck in a hole. Okay, yeah, we can we can handle this. I say we can handle this, there's a bunch of rocks in the way. Now, as you can see, there's considerably fewer puppets than usual. Oh, don't flip the car! Well, I say that. No, there's not. There's still plenty of puppets. Okay, so we do still have a lot of puppets in the world, but now we have hordes turned off.
come on, guys. Could you die faster? You're you're really in the way and making this difficult. I just want to get this drop, guys. Can can you help me out there? Now, I don't know if something got unmapped or what, but like I'm I'm not having any like there. I'm holding the brake and it's not doing anything. So something got screwy there. I'm going to have to remap something, I guess. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we have room. Good. But, yay, see, there we go. I got the timer knocked back down some. Uh, oh, we still actually have a lockpick. Not with that screwdriver, though. This screwdriver, but also get rid of these gloves. I mean, we'll take the respirator. Actually, for right now, you can even just put the respirator on. It'd be fine. Not with that screwdriver! Damn it! Use up the small ones first. Thank you. Oh, goody. More lockpicks. That means I don't have to make more. Do we not have this, any more small screwdrivers on us? Okay, well, that's fine. Then go ahead and use the big one. Ooh. Yes. Holy crap, you take up a lot of room. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Why not? You know, I don't care which one to use at this point. Yeah, I know you're cold. I don't care. You're fine. Here, put this on. It'll actually... Oh, Wait a minute, crap, I'm, I'm already wearing a bulletproof vest. Um, here, let me put this somewhere. Put that on. Can you go in one of these? No. Drat. Um. Sure, why not? Um. We'll, we'll pick that up in just a minute. Well, hey, that works. Because didn't we... We got an AK-15 out of the, um, the thing before. So, hell yeah. We can now run the AK-15. I feel like that's... Uh, wait, can I not pick you up? Why can't I pick you up? I mean, I know normally pick up means pick, you know, put into your inventory. Why can I not grab it with my hands? The hell? Okay, whatever. I guess we got to go out to the car. Dump some of this stuff real quick. At least dump the big one. You know, the one that we're wearing now. And I want to honestly keep some of this stuff on us. And really, for the moment, I just want to get rid of this. I'm not even going to bother putting it in the chest. We're just going to do that so that I can grab this other thing. I can't reach it from there. Get in the thing, stupid! Sorry, but we need to get in and out quickly. We got everything else. Okay. 
Let's get the hell out of here. I am actually going to get away from this before doing an outro. So long as the car will start. Which it should with that kind of battery. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, well, we're... We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Now, am I going the correct direction? No, of course I'm not. We have 151 fame points. We can go back to the trader now. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to go head to the trader. And, uh... Yeah, so I need to go... Actually, it'd be faster to go this direction. We're just going to park up here so I can do an outro. Because I've been going for over an hour and a half. Obviously, since the cargo drop came. But... God, I really need to figure out why the hell that the break got unmapped, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I'm so happy to have an alternator in this thing, finally. Oh, that's so nice. Now, that also means that we can use the car as a portable battery charger. Yeah, charge this battery. Once it gets full, swap out to one of the other batteries. Let the alternator charge that one, and just keep swapping out until we have full batteries. So, yay! I'm so happy. Ah, <sighs> That alternator was worth going to the observatory. So I'm glad that I saw that from the radio tower, otherwise I wouldn't have bothered going there. But anyway. <sighs> I'm just so happy about the alternator. But anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of the puppets currently. Like I said, we have the hordes turned back on, but the low player count modifier turned off. Now, that I, I still have considerably more puppets in the world. So we're, we're still getting a lot of puppets in the world. We just don't have them... We don't have all of them already pre-spawned in, which might actually be helpful. Um, but we do have hordes now, so they will spawn. That still kind of bugs me a little bit, just from the standpoint of, like I say, you can clear an area, and then they'll all just spawn in behind you just because a horde activates. I don't like horde systems like that. What I wanted the horde system to be is... It basically aggros all of the puppets that are already in the area. And that's not how it currently works. It just, it, it keeps spawning them even after you've cleared an area. And that, that bugs me a bit. But I'll leave it up to you guys whether we leave the hordes on or not. Um, regardless of whether or not we have the hordes turned on, it looks like we still have a considerable number of puppets in the world. So let me know if you would like me to keep the hordes on and keep the puppet numbers high like this or lower the puppet numbers but keep the hordes on or turn the hordes back off or whatever. Let me know what you guys want to do. And we will go from there. I'm actually curious. I may try turning the hordes off but also leaving the low player modifier off and see if that does anything, because I don't know if that affects the zombie's perception or not, because it's a, it kind of does, because it's supposed to automatically activate um, high threat zones. And so I don't know if that is playing a role in the puppets not being attentive or not. I don't know if there's something buggy with that system or not, but anyway. I may turn the hordes back off for the next episode and see how they behave then. And then we can make a decision after that. So I think maybe we'll go with that. Because I would really like to find a 
good balance between, you know, decent puppet numbers, but still keeping it realistic. Like I said, I like being able to actually clear an area and have it stay cleared, as opposed to you clear an area and then puppets all spawn in behind you in the area that you just cleared because you activated a horde. You know, that, that bugs me. But, like I say, we'll fiddle with the settings some more and kind of sort that out. Um, other than that, like I said, let me know. I really hope we're far enough away from that. I assume we are. We're a good ways away. But let me know what you guys think of this location over here for a base location. I've showed it to you before, and those of you that play the game, I'm sure you know this area. It's got a nice big lake, little farmhouse, workshop that already has workbenches and whatnot. The lake connects to the river system, so if we wanted to do you know, boat travel or or still make a beach base somewhere as a secondary thing. We can certainly do that. I just, I really like that location. It has essentially everything that you need. It also has crop fields nearby and this town over here. And it's not far from the airfield or this a factory or whatever it is that you can find some really good loot in. So it's a it's a really good location. But it's a location that you're mostly just going to fortify it as is as opposed to you know finding it's just an open location like we had with the last base and customize it exactly the way you want it. So that's really the only drawback with that one as I see it. But Anyway, let me know what you guys think on that, if you have a preference at all, or, you know, let me know if you don't want me to do base building here, or if you if you do want me to do the, like, the Beach Cove type base, if you'd rather I do that than have something, you know, up here. Let me know. But anyway, uh, I've rambled long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.